Hey everyone, welcome back to Cafecito. And today, we're gonna be reviewing this beautiful Colombian coffee. We're back obviously from Colorado. My grandparents came during the time that we were in Colorado. They were here for about a month. Layla loves coffee as much as I do as well. And they've asked, they asked us before uh, coming here ahead of time, something that we would like. Obviously our first thing was getting this. It's 100% Colombian coffee. And, uh, this is actually a premium selection. This is a roasted ground coffee, medium roast. The brand is Juan Valdez. Uh, one of the biggest brands that there is when it comes to coffee, especially in Colombia. So uh, right here, I mean, we have, it's a medium roast, bold aroma, it says. The grind is a medium and the flavor says it's bold and chocolate notes on it, which is interesting. This is our first time that we'll be trying this one out. This time we use, this is how we always make our coffee at, at my apartment, is a French press. So this is the French press I always use. And we did about six tablespoons and this much water. I don't, honestly don't know how much, maybe two to three cups. Before we were using an actual coffee maker, but I prefer the French press. Okay, first up, let's smell. It smells normal. <laughs> smells, smells normal. It smells good. It smells good. Uh, for some, for some reason, it's just I feel like it's just sometimes with the French press. I'm not a big fan of the French press. I think that it's a lot better to have a regular coffee maker. I don't know why. I disagree because I think one, the French press is so cute. You can. I've had this for years, and you don't need anything for it. You don't need the filters, you don't need electricity. I mean, you have to boil water or whatever, but I have like a little tea kettle for that. I don't know. I love it. It's just so know. cute. I think it makes a good coffee. Uh, the part of the problem is when you make more coffee, like for two people, when you make more coffee for two people, sometimes the taste can be different. Well, going back to the coffee, of course, as far as smells, yeah, it smells just like your regular coffee. I mean, this is not, it is, doesn't have any special flavors on it. Uh, I think the one that we had in Colorado was a hazelnut, so clearly the smell came right away, that aroma. Yeah. But this one, you know, just your regular dark black coffee, medium rose. As far as smells, yeah, it smells good. I want to taste it, but I feel like it's just too hot. I know. Right now. Go for it. It's okay. It's, it's just too hot for now. See, I go by my theory of letting it rest for a couple of minutes. I feel like we didn't let it rest. It has a, an, an aftertaste that I can't. It might just be that. The chocolate taste. I mean, it had, does have a, like a little bit of a chocolate. It's definitely bold. Mm-hmm. Pretty strong. I like it. Nothing extraordinary, but I think it's really good. Overall, Colombian coffee is always good. You can't really go wrong with Colombian coffee. Yeah, and I actually have another one, another Colombian brand. Um, so this is Juan Valdez, and then the one I have in my house is called Aguila, like an eagle. Um, I think that one's pretty good too. Fortunately, I didn't bring it, and we can't do two at one. But as far as like rating it from a scale of one to ten, I mean, I'm gonna give it a eight and a half. I don't know, maybe an eight. Uh, just because it's, you know, just your reg it tastes like your regular yeah. coffee. Seven and a half to eight, I would say. Yeah. I mean, I would. Sure. Honestly, we're not too picky when it comes to coffee, so this is is still really good. Like I would, I would drink it again. You, like I said, you can't really go wrong with Colombian coffee straight from Colombia. Aside from that, we what? Like it's been about a month that we've been back from Colorado now, so mm -hmm. we did have a plan trip of going to California. And as everyone might know, if you're in the States, obviously a lot of the cases have been going up as far as the virus goes. And unfortunately, we won't be able to visit. Again, we've been there before, but the whole plan was to take my parents because it would, it would have been their first time to go. And I really wanted them to see, even though it was gonna be just for about three days, really, 
well, one, two, three, four, four days total. But I wanted them to see, obviously, the West Coast because we've always we've all been around the East Coast and it gets pretty boring going to the same places. So that kind of sucks. We were looking forward on going over there and maybe obviously going to some coffee shops because obviously there's tons of other coffee shops around there and we can't be doing that. We'll find some here. We'll find something here to be making some videos. I have a question for you then. After COVID, where do you want to, like maybe in two years or so when it's really settled down, where do you want to travel to? After COVID, after everything is settled down, I say I would like to go, I mean, I've definitely been having Greece in my mind, nonstop. True. I've been, that's like my biggest, my biggest goal to go over there. I still say Costa Rica though. <laughs> no, the Costa Rica you can go at any time. Oh yeah, I have only gone. Mm. <laughs> because? Costa Rica, I still want to go to Hawaii. I know that's not out of the US, but it is technically. Greece would be cool. I just want to go to Greece because it's just, you know, it's the other side of the world and it's obviously, it's very pretty, it's very different, different culture. Yeah. It's either Greece or of course, like it's Paris and Italy, but that's more to go with my friends. I mean, not my friends, my parents. She yeah. doesn't necessarily want to go there. I don't think I, not for over the next couple years, that's not where I would like to go. You know, I'd rather go somewhere that I have always wanted to go, which again would be like Greece or Costa Rica, Bali. Australia again. <laughs> I would love to go. Definitely just outside of the US. Yeah. It's it's a, it's about that time to start going elsewhere than around here. What about you guys? Comment down below where you want to go post COVID and hopefully that'll be fairly soon and we can return to somewhat a normal travel experience. And also comment down below if you've tried any other Colombian brand. This is my personal favorite brand as far as like Colombian coffee does go. Obviously there's tons of other packages that claim to be Colombian coffee and most of them, or at least some of them, don't really even taste that well. So comment down below if you've tried any other brands, any other flavors, um, or even if you tried of course obviously this brand. I'm sure it is available actually in Florida uh, because the population of Latins in Florida is pretty big and I think they do have one like this down there. Other than that, uh, if you have any other recommendations, any other places maybe around the Georgia state area, let us know and then we'll check it out. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. <laughs>